And Jay, that's a good word. Standard vacation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, 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 if, and, the, and the fatalities. Yeah. No. no. Any incidents? No. Any, uh, what's that the word I used this morning? But Jay? You heard me it was off. It was a lot of casualties. Small casualties. He got sunburned. Mm -hmm. And so that's why he's not here today. Yeah. He's at home. <laughs> what's, what's the word for that? Re-what? Recuperate. I have. Uh, Thank Brian, great to see you, man. Yes, 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 yes sir. Yes. And we want to pass on our love and well wishes to your family and, mm -hmm. and to Big Mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank God for you. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been doing word study, and uh, Claudette said, that's why she said, you always got words. Mm -hmm. And yes. words are tremendous. I've learned over the years that words are absolutely phenomenal. And they set forth ideas and concepts that nothing else can set forth, like words. Mm -hmm. And your mind grasps these concepts, but without our understanding of words, a lot of times we risk we miss the. Uh, the full what was that word? parameter, a yeah. mm -hmm. spectrum mm -hmm. of what's been said. We just yes, catch sir. little bits and pieces and we run with it. Full impact. Yeah, true. impact. Not mm -hmm. a good word, impact. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's another word, Claudia, you said? Oh, no, I just said that's true. Yeah. You need to take and a look and we, we miss that. And I, we, I was looking at the gospel, we've been looking at the gospel of uh, uh, John for the last several weeks and the woman at the well. And my wife and I were talking on the way back. Five hours, <laughs> six hours with, with, with Claudette, <laughs> and six hours with, with Willie Harvey. <laughs> and poor Jay in the back, and with his earphones on. The only thing that helped him was having his earphones on. <laughs> <laughs> I said, woo wee. <clears throat> uh, you, you know somebody that, Jay? Yeah, you're pagan, you know about that. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. But before you know it, we don't gonna got on conversations, yeah. mm -hmm. and Amen. that no one agrees on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought sure she agreed on what I was saying. Mercy. Jay, I, I know she agreed. No, she didn't agree on this. <laughs> and and I, and what I got from that was iron sharpeth iron. And I know she loved the Lord, and I do too. But in order for us to get further along in <clears throat> in Christ, there must be issues and things that we have to deal with, sure. and they need they need to be brought out, and not get so upset that you're unable to function as a <laughs> as a couple anymore, <laughs> because that can happen also, and. Uh, what I thought about was the, the mindset that each believer should have when he's in dialogue with anyone else. Mm -hmm. Either you're in dialogue with the, the carnal world, mm -hmm. with carnality or with human perspective, or you're in dialogue with the person that's, that's the same, that lives in, uh, well, most of the time he's in the spiritual world. Two worlds we can actually dominate our thoughts. The human, the human world, humanity, the philosophies of the world, and also that which is Christ. Because he did ask us to have our minds, what, transformed and renewing of our minds. Mm -hmm. So if it asked you to renew your mind, <clears throat> apparently there was something in the old mind that was not adequate <laughs> for, mm -hmm. for him to minister through. Mm -hmm. 
right Earl? Yes, sir. The old mind is inadequate. Mm -hmm. That means it's not sufficient. That means it's not able to, to accomplish or to perceive, thank you Jesus, those things that, that the Spirit has for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I looked at that passage of scripture, we would, we would take a quick look, and then I got something I want to read to you. <clears throat> it came from gotquestions.org, uh, chapter four of the Gospel of John, <clears throat> verses eight through, what was there, eight to 13? Mm -hmm. For his disciples were going away unto the city to buy food. Where was Jesus' mind? Apparently it was not on what? It wasn't on food. His mind was totally engulfed in the leading of the Spirit. Am I right? When you look at this very closely. The, the believers had a mind that says we need something to eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That's true. In his humanity, I'm sure his mind was saying you need to eat also. Yes, yes. But that was something even more pressing. All right now. And that was be led by the Spirit. And I believe in all my heart, in <clears throat> all my heart that Everything that Christ did in the flesh, in his humanity, was led by the Spirit. No doubt about it. Because if it was not led by the Spirit, then it was led by his humanity. Sure and his humanity was not adequate no. to fulfill the things, the purpose of Almighty God. And look here. <clears throat> when then when this then saith the woman of Samaria unto him. <clears throat> Her mind, her mind was somewhere else. Now these two minds have met. Mm -hmm. And what you have when two minds meet and they don't agree, there is conflict. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus, for the word conflict. Yeah. And conflict could even lead to war. Yes. A word. Yes. And afterwards, there's physical contact. And after physical contact, many things could happen, bodily damage and other things could occur because of the fact that the two minds that have met don't agree. Amen. That's why Paul says, let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. So when you look at the scriptures, Paul speaks about minds and of course Jesus talked about minds and apparently from my own understanding and my own selfishness, I know that my mind many times is at odds with the saints of Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what, what I have to do True. is listen to the Spirit, hopefully that I'm hearing the Spirit, and I'm not upset, I'm not angry, I'm not doing anything selfishly, then perhaps I'm doing something that the Spirit desires me to do. I would love out of compassion, out of mercy, Amen. for those that we come in contact with. Amen. You, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so I, I'm thinking that Jesus has that type of mind, and the woman has another type of mind. Amen. Not saying anything was wrong with, with her as she, because of the, the condition that she was involved with, Amen. had brought her to that type Amen. of mindset. Amen. Maybe the, the ladies that didn't come there had another mindset. Mm -hmm. Maybe a, a five husband she had had a mindset, and the one she was living with then wasn't didn't have a mindset. Mm -hmm. All everybody has a mind, yeah. and that, if that mind isn't conducive, that's another word I like yeah. conducive. <laughs> conducive to that of Christ, then you're going to have some odds, some conflict, and anger, and unforgiveness. And I think I sent a word out called um, instigating. Mm -hmm. That also is part of the mind. Mm -hmm. True. And well, I took, 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 she said, instigating, you, you can pick up instigating. I said, 
Well, sometimes you can pick up instigating. Sometimes you can't because the subtlety, that's another word, subtlety of Satan using an individual to implant or to set things out that actually cause conflict and controversy and, and debating. Now here, you gotta remember also this, that there was another entity present here. Who was it? Who was it? Satan. When I say entity, I mean another person. That was God in the Holy Spirit. He was working through Christ in his humanity, mm -hmm. in the spirit. That was a woman who had her her cardinal mind and, mm -hmm. and our mm -hmm. cardinal things mm -hmm. that infiltrated mm -hmm. her mind mm -hmm. and poisoned her mind out of the system. It is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yep. And therefore, when she when Jesus and her spoke, the enemy is always there to point out something in a mind that's not under reconstruction. Mm -hmm. Uh, transforming yeah. mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if it's there, what's going to come out is something that's not of Christ. And this is what I see here, what the Holy Spirit has showed me. Now you may you may see something in addition to that that is great, that is fine. Because you have a mind also. And you don't have necessarily agree with what I'm saying but what I'm saying should bring something to the forefront of your understanding of your mind mm -hmm. and how it works. Yep. Every believer has a mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's part of the soul. Mm -hmm. The soul is made up of the mind, the will, and the emotions. Mm -hmm. That's the three parts, the, the tripod of the soul of man is his mind, his will and his his emotions. I think the emotions, not the, the will, is a leading part of the mind because your emotion can stir you up, but your will have to be the one that carries that that out. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Now he says here, listen to what Jesus and, and all of this is going on in this conversation here. If I have a conversation with Jay with my wife or with Earl, remember there's an entity standing about to to attack or to to propagate or to excite your fleshly mind. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Yeah. Because yeah. he deals in the flesh. Mm -hmm. yeah. And no matter how clear something may seem to you, it may be something that's, that Satan has stirred up in your mind. Mm -hmm. And you can even use scripture to verify what has been said. Yes, that's true. But still that may not be in the spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm only speaking from my own experience myself. Now he says, she says here, as verse uh, 9, right? Mm -hmm. Then said the woman of Samaria, and this is remarkably how, how the spirit keeps her reminding us of the fact that she's from Samaria. Mm -hmm. And I think you did some research on Samaria. Mm -hmm. So you know about how she was thinking because of the culture and her, 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 those people in that area at that time. And she said, how is it that thou being a Jew that also throw these two, two conflicts together? You got Jew and you got Samaritan. And you got the enemy. Mm. And you got the spirit. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, who is you have the spirit in you, so who should be speaking? The spirit. Yeah. But I'm sad to say in many cases on all of our part, mm -hmm. when something of nature comes. It isn't the spirit that's speaking. It is the old hum humanity that's speaking. Amen. And it's drawn from the concepts and the philosophies and the traditions and the rudiments of this world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's remarkable. That's not the word. Like. Yep. Remarkable. 
Y'all forgive me. I'm, I'm just having fun. Amen. And I, I believe that if you're going to preach, you ought to have some fun. And it's not about that that type of fun. It's about how God, we, I came on this morning, I asked God to just open me up and pour me out. Yes, Lord. Whatever is in me that's it worth, it's worth anything, pour it out. Amen. Maybe somebody can benefit by it. And maybe there's a cleansing aspect on my part. It gets something out of me that shouldn't be there. Amen. 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 So my wife, we, we came back. I guess we talked about four hours. Oh, probably. Probably. Mm. And I never heard her talk that much in my my fifth of three years with her. <laughs> and she was she was animate. That's not the word. <laughs> and I'm animate on my part. Oh. <laughs> I said, I can't keep going. The woman can't sit in. And she said, said <laughs> all that was sharpening iron because I, I did get upset with her even though the mind was rattling I didn't get upset with her she didn't get upset with me I hope not no, you know, no, she, no, and no. so God was able to give what revelation revelation here we're going to see God give revelation and revelation comes through what? Spirit. The spirit. spirit. That's why I talked. We we'll get got down in here, but he talked about drinking. Mm -hmm. You drink of this, you won't need to come back here mm -hmm. anymore. Hallelujah! Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. It'll be bubbling up in you. Yes, Lord. And whenever you, you need it, Thank you, it's just bubbling up. Hallelujah. You take Lord. a drink, Thank and you can Lord. deal with all those yes. situations that come from other people's minds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Overflow. That's a good word. Yes, sir. Look, look at it. How that being a Jew asked me for a drink, <clears throat> which I'm Samaritan, and the Jews have no dealing with Samaritans. That's that's culture. Mm -hmm. Each culture has its own dynamics. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm. I, I'm from North Carolina, and I came to Richmond. And th th from from there, well, in fact, let me let me give you a little history on me. When I left home, I went to Newport News. I've never been outside of North Carolina State in my life, but I was in Newport News, and the culture and the people were entirely different. Entire, I never seen so much mess. I never saw so many things. I never knew people did the things they did. And then I was involved with some of the things that they, they did. Mm -hmm. Then I left there and went to the army. And I saw all kind of men Amen. from all races, mm -hmm. all colors, yeah. Yeah. all yeah. nations, yeah. all societies, yeah. all ethnic groups. I saw them all. Mm -hmm. So in order to function there, I had to have another mindset. mindset. Okay. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. I have that mindset. You, 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 you have to get along with people yes, if you're in a unit Come on. where you have to work yeah, right. Yeah, right. And, and produce a product or to, to defend something or produce something. You have to be in harmony with, with the group. Mm -hmm. You don't have to agree with everything, but that you have a main purpose and that is to fulfill the, the calling or whatever it is that they will assign you to do. Amen. If you don't, then there's separation and there's no victory. Mm -hmm. This is what Christ is sharing with us. It doesn't matter how you feel about a certain thing. Come on, mm -hmm. Don't let it dis distract you from your mission. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank, you. Thank, you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. This is good stuff mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Jesus, she said, which am I a drink? And you ask me, which am a woman or a Samaritan? The opposition was right there. And Jesus, being a Jew, had the perfect opportunity to argue and fuss yeah. and debate. debate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right there on that subject. Mm -hmm. yeah. But there was a priority in his life. Uh oh in the spirit mm -hmm. that far or far more supreme than a little petty argument over 
degree or about mm. drinking, about your culture, about yes. what you didn't do, how your mama brought you, about how your daddy brought you. Mm. No, that had nothing to do with it. Mm. The main purpose of Jesus being there was again to take a drink yes, sir. of the living water wow. and then all those discrepancies, mm. all those other things that plow, yeah. clogged her mind could be washed. Yeah, the living water the water. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. I thank God for Jesus. I thank God for Jesus. Helps you to deal with mm. racism and prejudice. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. We are a unique group, mm -hmm. the church. Amen. Mm -hmm. God has poured out his life into us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. And expect Hallelujah. our minds to over, that the song was there, over part of time, mm -hmm. to be transformed into the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. If not completely into the mind of Christ, is able to do some work yes, sir. Mm -hmm. of Christ. Yes, sir. Amen. Because all of that will be decided the judgment seat of Christ, yes, what that work is and how it was done. Now he says, Jesus answered and said to her, and we went through this before, this, but there's so much light here. If thou knewest the gift of God, mm -hmm. Jesus. you see, he never went back to the Samaritan Jews thing here. Yeah, Why? Because it was worthless. Mm -hmm. He, he could have never got anything accomplished yeah. there. Yeah. If he'd got debating about that, then yeah. the, the, his primary mission yeah. would have been diverted. Yes, Lord. Right there? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And you want to stay focused on the things of Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah. And staying focused on the things of Christ starts where? Here. Yeah. And then the will proceeds to get that done. Amen. As he's prayed that night in the Garden of Gethsemane, not my will, but thy will be done. So his mind and will had to agree. Once his mind was made up, then his will engaged into pursuing or doing that which was pleasing to my Almighty God, to his Father. Amen. Who is that thou seest giveth said, give me a drink? And he would have given you living water. Living water. Living water is the spirit of Christ. It's God's Holy Spirit when it comes into the to the believer's life. The Holy Spirit. Uh, now, if you think about water, just natural water, it it, it accomplishes so many things when you when you're drinking. What is one thing? happens when you drink cold water. Oh, thirst. It, it, it quenches your thirst. Mm -hmm. Girl, you got something? Cools you off. Cools you off. Peggy? Mm -hmm. Hydrates you. Hydrates you. Yes, refreshes you. Refreshes yes, you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Mary got something? Mm -hmm. You don't work no better. It, 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 it evaporates you. Make yeah. you mm -hmm. feel alive. Mm -hmm. I gotta get me some water, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall out down here. <laughs> and after you get that drink of water, cold glass of water, you ready to go. Yeah. On the pitching mound, on the dugouts, when you go back to the to the you've been running around the base, the first thing that 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 that, that, uh, that player does is get him a cup. Get him a drink of water. Why it refreshes him, it replenishes everything that he's lost mm. during that transition around the bases. You see what I'm saying? So now put that on the other aspect of it. The spirit, when it comes in. Mm -hmm. And water is good for washing. Mm -hmm. For cleaning. Mm -hmm. So the spirit is a uh, all inclusive. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> and what he he's, he's, he's supposed to do in the believer when the believer receives him. Mm -hmm. He starts immediately working out those things that hinder the believer from being all he can be in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think that Paul, again, in the book of Romans, I beseech you therefore, brothers, present what? Your bodies, Your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed that conform has to do with thinking. Yes. Has to do with attitudes and motives. Yes. 
of this world, but be transformed and be renewed of your mind. Being transformed by having a new mind. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Replacing that mind that was so devastating to you, that kept you in trouble. You went to bed, you couldn't even go to sleep because of your mind. Filled with all kind of stuff. Your mind. And as Paul speaks, I think in the book of Colossians, if you be risen with Christ, seek those things above where he sits at on the right hand of God. And, and, and don't mind the things of the earth. So a per, I did that message years ago called lofty thinking. Yeah. <laughs> it applies here, Jay. Lofty thinking. So whenever we, we approach something, we have to have another look at it and think about it differently. Amen. Now, if you don't know Jesus, and particularly if you don't know, you can know Jesus and not know the word. And you can know the word and not know Jesus. Amen. But these two have to work cooperatively together yes, to get you a full revelation Amen. of what God desires you to have in, what? in your mind. Thank you, Lord. I, was, I was thinking on the way over, I got my grass to cut. And the way it's talking about be raining all the time. So one thing that I learned over the years that you can you can do a multitude of things overtly but in your mind could be doing something else mm -hmm. see I'm cutting grass or washing a car my mind isn't concentrating on washing a car That's true. my mind may be other places oh, yeah. but my the conscious mind is washing a car my subconscious mind is someplace oh, yeah. else yeah. True. but most of us work out of our what Subconscious, mm -hmm. uh, not subconscious, our conscious mind. Mm -hmm. We just react to what is what's happening. We don't allow it to go deep and allow the if the spirit is there to look at it and send it back, and then you operate on out, out of that perspective. So I think the mind is uh, is key to every believer living a life that glorifies Jesus. You can't glorify Jesus unless your mind is in agreement, mm -hmm. right? Your mind has to be in agreement with him. And you have to know the word and to have the word properly uh, taught and properly presented so that you can you can conduct yourself in the spirit. Many people know the word. I've heard them quote it, quote, but their attitude and their actions are quite different than what they quoted. So that means that something is out of what? Lying here. Something is not quite hooking up. The word and the mind should be working together. Mm -hmm. As Jesus said, I mean, get, get back here quickly, and we'll close out. But I want to, I want to stay with this for as long as it takes to help us to be more of an instrument that God can use because of the mind, dress, clothing has nothing to do with with the mind. Mm. Now, it's, it's all right. But I'm going to look good today. Well, <laughs> what do that mean? I mean, you, you didn't look good. But what's in you wow. that's coming out that's good? Wow. I think that when Jesus got to the well, um, she saw that he was a Jew. His dress, his attitude, his mannerism, all of that was a part of him them knowing that she knowing that he was Jew. He she was probably dressed a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. And the man and woman when you're dressed, you're supposedly dressed as a man should dress and a woman should dress as she should dress. But in these days and time it can become very confusing. Or well, who is who is in that dress? Mm -hmm. Who's in that suit? Mm -hmm. So it, that's and I, I'm going past that is who is portrayed in that person mm -hmm. the believer when you open your mouth something to be said or done in your mannerism in your talk in your speech in the way you handle things 
in the way you open doors and the way you speak and even in the way you bubble fist as to who is resident mm -hmm. who stays here yeah. who lives here this is what Christ did he was a Jew quite naturally and she recognized him as a Jew but who lived there in that Jewish body Hallelujah. it was God Almighty Hallelujah. when you you have the same responsibility if you receive Christ as your personal Savior you now have a dual nature you still have your human nature but the spiritual nature should be dominating mm. that of the flesh. Ooh. Walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. Let me finish this up real quick. And next we're going to look at uh, how the mind, how the Bible looks at the mind. No, he said, no one said, I have nothing to draw with, sir. And see, there's a sense of what here, Jane, when she, she said, sir. Respect. Respect. Mm -hmm. Anytime you don't fall into the trap of secularism and humanism, there's a certain respect that comes. I have I have actually at Walmart, Walmart, go to Walmart store sometime, and I've actually been from that the screen door there, the door there to here. And for some reason, they're just waiting. I, I, I don't use the French too. They're just waiting to open the door for you. Mm -hmm. They don't have to, mm -hmm. but it, it just wait. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying this thing. It's the way people perceive you. When you it's the way you dress, the way you look, the way you carry yourself. A lot of times the term of what I'm gonna do and I don't to the stupid man. If you if your face is all frowned up and your head all down, yeah, I slap the door in my face. But if you many times the way you walk, the way you carry yourself is how people receive you. That's what I'm talking about. And when Jesus said he didn't get involved with this argument fussing you, and I'm thinking that this woman was the first time she ever met somebody that won't fussing and arguing and accusing of something. Most of the time, we, we even our family, even our friends, even our neighbors, we got something to get, that get, get, get you straight. Mm -hmm. No. Don't lose your mission. Don't lose that. Don't lose the fact that God wants that person to draw that person to it, and you have to step completely out of the way. It doesn't matter how you feel or what you think. Because how you feel and what you think has to do with your emotions, has to do with your mind. But your mind being renewed has to be that of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't care what to do to me. I want that woman at the well. Jesus' old mission was, I don't care what the rest of the neighbors say here or the crowd that talks about her. What that's all about, I don't care. But she needs she needs Jesus. She needs God. She needs the, she needs the spirit in her. And God is always, what you say, She needs a drink. She, <laughs> she needs a drink. Yeah. She don't need another drink because she, she needs the drink. The drink. The drink. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Even in your own home, your own relatives, you got to be careful how you mm. open your mouth, how you share Christ with another individual. If you need to apologize, do that. Please. If you need to show meekness, do that. Mm -hmm. Because Christ does a tremendous amount of teaching when you show forgiveness and meekness and compassion. You, 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 you're running with Jesus. And when you run with Jesus, you, you can't help but learn something. Stay with him. Mm -hmm. Learn something. Yes, Remember this. The mind is key to your relationship with Christ, because I believe that the pastor said, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy strength, and all thy mind. Mm -hmm. So you got your mind have to look. Your mind loves Jesus. My mind, I love Jesus. 
So if your mind loves Jesus, your will is going to perform that which is pleasing to him. Because your will is under, under the authority of the Holy Spirit. You want the Spirit to operate in you. To fulfill God's eternal purpose in you. Or that short, immediate purpose that when you get to the judgment of Christ, judgment seat of Christ, he will reward you adequately. Go home. Apologize to that person. Don't be ashamed to say, forgive me. I asked my wife to forgive me. I know she loved me, but she needed to forgive me. I told her this. I said, I, 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 said, I like you. She said, I, popped up, I, said, I, like, I really like you. Now, you can, you, can, you can love people, but you don't like them. Amen. That's the truth. But when Christ begins to show up, you love that Christ that's in that person. You love Christ in that person. If Christ doesn't show up, you can't love that which is not Christ. He said, you love me, you keep my commandments. Amen. So if, even if Christ doesn't show up, you still love the person because Christ loved the person. And if loving the person, that Christ loved the person, there may be a chance for you to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Not saying all the time, but this is the proper method, I think, that Christ used to let us know that, hey, be under authority of the Holy Spirit. He'll take care of all those loose ends as a uh, stay in your lane and you, you'll be just fine. Christ will love that person but Christ don't love that per the thing that that person is not doing that not pleasing the church sack. Absolutely. That's what the whole scenario here is about it, the woman in the well. And not only did he, he didn't like what she was doing but her life was a life of pure misery. Oh yeah. Amen. Pure misery. And a lot of times people have killed themselves, True. have gone into drunken stupors, mm. even had um, put, put themselves in a position to be used just like, just for nothing because of the, the, the elemental crisis missing. So if you have a chance to witness to your, your daughter, your grandson, your loved one, your neighbor. You may not be able to verbally witness to one, but things you do in the day, in the night, in the hour, a response, your mannerism, your face, your, the way you greet them has a lot to do with Christ coming to rescue that person from that situation they, they may find themselves. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? That's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, you can't do it all by yourself. That's why Christ has an army of believers out here. One planet. One water. One water. Well, God gives the increase. Yes, sir. Don't, 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 you, you don't want to see no increase on your part because it ain't no good. <laughs> if you accomplish something, it ain't nothing but of the flesh. If God accomplished something, then it's, it's eternal and God will reward you with that. Okay, that's me right, right now. I thank God for your listening. Thank you. And uh, we're going to continue this series. Uh, it's going to still come out the book here um, um, of um, John's Gospel with the woman of the well. But we're going to look at it from a different perspective. And, uh, that's so, it's so rich here because Jesus made a special trip. Left that to go there. Any questions? Any questions? Any, any remarks? That's all. I just wanted to yes. add that um, what I like about the